In this video, we'll take a look at how to change wallpaper or desktop backgrounds on a Windows 7 machine. So, to get started, we need to right click on the desktop and choose Personalize. This will open the Theme Manager. From the options at the bottom, choose Desktop Background. Now we can browse through a selection of pictures that come with Windows. To see what one looks like, click on it once, then minimize this window if necessary, and there we go. Let's maximize the window again. We can also use our own pictures or pictures downloaded from the internet. If a picture is in your pictures folder or pictures library, simply select pictures library from the drop down box here. Now choose a picture in the same way we did before. And there it is, a splendid garden scene. We can also choose how our picture is displayed, since most pictures will not fit exactly on your desktop. In Windows 7 there are now five different ways we can adjust them. These adjustments only affect the desktop wallpaper as it is displayed. They do not change the actual image file on your computer. So choosing Fill will expand the photo and crop the edges of the photograph if necessary so that it fits to your monitor. Choosing fit will keep the picture's aspect ratio and put blank space at the top and bottom of the image if necessary. Choosing stretch will expand the image to cover all of your desktop. This can make photographs look distorted or out of proportions however. Choosing tile will repeat the image across your desktop I'll just demonstrate this with this small spider picture. Hmm, creepy, huh? I'm not sure I want that on my desktop. Choosing Center will center the image on your desktop with black space around it. Like that. If you don't like black borders or black outlines, you can change the background colour by clicking here and then choosing from any of the colours available. So I'm going to go back to my garden scene and choose the fill mode. So let's take a look. OK, so you might just be able to see that there's a little less path shown here than you can see on the preview picture. But I'm happy with this, so I'm going to stick with that mode. I should also mention that it's still possible to browse for a picture located somewhere on your computer by clicking Browse and then using the file browser to locate the picture. I'm just going to cancel that though. One of the neat new features of Windows 7 is its wallpaper slideshow feature. Let me show you how this works. You might have noticed a little tick or check mark in the corner of the picture here. Well, if we move to another picture and put a tick in the corner here. Let's have our original picture, and maybe that one too. We've now created a slideshow. We can now choose how often to change images. I'm going to set it to 10 seconds just for this example. There you can choose anything from 10 seconds to one day. Now hit Save Changes. And let's minimize this window again.
and there you can see your own desktop slideshow. You can browse for wallpaper on the internet too. Here's some on the BBC website that I bookmarked earlier. Choose a wallpaper that is close to your monitor's resolution. You can find this by minimizing your windows and right clicking on the desktop and choosing screen resolution. There it is. 800 by 600 in my case. So going back to Internet Explorer I'll choose the 800 by 600 image Now, in Firefox or Internet Explorer, you can right-click on any picture you find on the web and choose Set as Background. This is Set as Desktop Background in Firefox. So, I'll click that and choose Yes. And let's minimize IE for a moment. And the other window. And there we go, a cute polar bear scene. Alternatively, we could right click on this image and choose Save Picture As, then save it in our Pictures Library. Now, we could repeat the process for every other picture on the page and then create a desktop slideshow with the pictures we downloaded. And that's all there is to changing wallpaper on Windows 7. Give it a go yourself.